Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Online, Worm Unlimited tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to learn a little bit about Deed Planner. So let's get started. First, Deed Planner is a third-party software developed by Warlander, one of the developers of Worm Online, uh, to help you plan your deed, help you plan your home, really help you with the aesthetics, uh, so that when you go into the game, you're not overwhelmed with the abundance of everything. So, in order to find it, you're going to go to the Worm Online forums, a key, Okay, and then you're also going to go down to uh, tools in the, uh, oops, I'm sorry, you're going to go down to the tool belt in the community assistance, and you're going to go ahead and click on uh, Deed Planner. Now 2.40 was released, and uh, that is on the unstable version, and uh, he went ahead and released the ability to make bridges inside Worm, uh, inside the inside Deed Planner. Uh, just like you do in Worm, so you can go ahead and plan bridges. Now you're going to download, you're going to click it and download it, and then when it opens up, you're going to go ahead and open it up. It's really simple to use. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make this full screen right here. So this is this is it. This is Deed Planner. Okay, what I like to do first is to plan my deed, is I like to go ahead and put down... Uh, oh, I'll give you an overview. Ground, you can change the height here. Um, you can go ahead and, like, you know, uh, there's so much to it actually um, if you want to make it taller you're gonna have to play around this isn't in an in-depth tutorial this is more of uh, how to use it but like let's say I wanted a mountain here I want to set the height to let's say 500 okay so I'm gonna have a mountain here I'm gonna set the height to 500 I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to a 3d view where I can fly around and I can see wow that is a tall little mountain right there and if I want to make it look like a mountain, I go to ground and I can go ahead and put a mountain tile. Uh, mountain tile here. Uh, the, here's the thing that I don't like is that you actually can't see where you changed uh, the, the terrain at all when you go into the tile painting mode. So what I usually do is I usually change the terrain prior to changing the, the height of the tile. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a short... Anyways, there's my mountain and I can play with it there. But here's my favorite feature of Deed Planner is I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, a, a, a deed that is just a basic deed. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, pack dirt down and I'm going to go ahead and put out my uh, 5x5 or 11x11 I guess would be the right word. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is just my outline of my 11 by 11 default deed. And here I can go ahead and see that this is what's going to be my canvas. This is my canvas. You can make it larger and bigger. I'll let you play with that. But here's my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 by 11. And this center is where my deed, is, uh, my token is. That's always plants in the center. Now, we know that you can change the token or you can change the side of the deed um, in, w once you plan it. But for this sake, I don't like doing that. I just like playing the game, right? So I have my outline, I have my, my deed area, and I just want to make a stinking house. And I want to know what the house is going to look like. I go over to walls here, I go to house walls, and I like stone. Stone's really pretty to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is my token right here. If I go to objects, I can go to miscellaneous, I can go ahead and put down a settlement token because, you know, why not? I'll go back to walls. Uh, we're going to put a, a portcullis, portcullis gate. Uh, in front of it so we'll do that here and uh, let's go ahead let's go to materials instead it's a lot easier to go materials it's broken down to materials I like this one tall portcullis and then we'll do a double door let's plain double door here and then we'll go ahead and um, kind of make a more artistic artistic uh, house not autistic artistic house Okay, that looks yeah. That, okay, I can I can get behind this, kind of even on both sides, and you kind of just paint it. Now, to delete a tile, let's say you just do this. You can just right click on it, and it deletes it. Excellent. All right. Now you can, I'm holding it down, but you can go ahead and click it individually if you just click each tile or each uh, each um, border. That's fine too. Uh, nothing limits you to your imagination. 
Uh, so here is my my base my base there it is that's what it's gonna look like I just put that light out for my for my new um, my new house kind of like it um, got some nice towers going on here uh, well, let's go ahead and put a floor down I'm gonna use uh, I like using really simple floors let's go ahead and use slate because you know that's not simple but okay and okay and this I like this as a courtyard I'm gonna go ahead and put a <clears throat> stone slab right there and I want to know what it's going to look like if I have a fountain right in the center of my courtyard. Let's put a fountain right there in the center. But uh, I kind of don't like these towers just kind of sitting out there being alone. Uh, let's make it so it's a little bit more of a courtyard. Okay, let's go ahead and put archways inside the towers. And now we really start seeing it come alive, right? Like these are separate rooms to get into the towers. The courtyard is not even and it bothers me but uh just let it go joe just let it go okay here's a cool thing is that you don't limit it to just one one floor you can go to the second floor and let's say i want to just go ahead and put a roof on i can pick all the roofs i'm going to put a roof on my front towers oh, we'll leave the back ones open but i want i want to make these other towers a little a little bigger so let's go ahead and we'll put a large Let's make let's make it a little bigger, a little taller. I'm gonna go ahead and put a plain stone window, okay, around all of this. Because, you know, why not? And we'll go ahead and put a plain stone window around our towers. Okay, and I'm gonna go up one more. I'm gonna go ahead and put a roof on my main my main courtyard there's my roof but I'm gonna make my towers a little taller because I really like tall towers makes me feel like uh, I'm a king of the castle here tall towers tall towers you just kinda of fill in the border tile borders okay we'll do one more uh, this one looks pretty good on the side so we're gonna go ahead and put a roof on the sides but the back I want the back to kinda of be like the the Mondo tower you know like the beacon tower so I put one more wall I'm gonna come up and go ahead on this fifth floor I'm gonna put a floor I'm gonna put a uh, stone slab no I don't want that a stone brick floor storm stone brick and I'm gonna go ahead and put a parapet or let's see I like this kind of parapet kind of kind of a, a defense mechanism if you will for it and we'll go ahead and we'll go to 3d view and we'll take a look at what we created here and here's my castle right there I mean that looks great wow that's that's what I'm gonna build that's what I'm gonna build actually it's not what I'm gonna build but it's gonna be something like that if I go to warm in view this is the view I'm gonna see if I'm gonna actually be a uh, walking in game I walk through oh there's my token so feel free to come in here and donate to my upkeep I'm gonna leave that unlocked for you okay oh there's my courtyard wow that's a really pretty courtyard I think in each one of these I'm gonna make it so that uh, uh, but you know what? I can't get them to the towers because I don't have I don't have a stairway in there. I don't have a stairway. Okay. Well, we need to fix that. We'll go ahead and 2D view. Let's go down to the second floor because that's where the stairway is going to be. I'm going to go with uh, floors and maybe not a stair opening. We'll use an opening here. Let's go ahead and use a stone brick opening. That way people can actually get to get up into the tower right and that's what we really want we want people to get up into the tower there we go and there we go let's see what that looks like here oh and we can get into the tower that's that's pretty awesome right there okay can't get there Oop, a little too fast now if I always kind of climb this ladder I can go into 3d view and Climb it whoop, 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 up to the top, and I can see my entire kingdom. Simba, everything that the light touches is yours. Well, that's kind of a brief introduction to uh, Deed Planner. Um, I know that they implemented it in the game, and I haven't played with that. Maybe I'll take, make another video of me playing with it in game. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and thanks a lot, guys.